a higher mushroom intake is significantly correlated with a younger biological age. And that's what we'll see here. This is 40 tests from 2018 to 2025 using the biological age clock PhenoAge. And for those who may not be familiar with how good or not that this clock is, I can cover that in a video, and if you missed it, it'll be in the right corner. Note that it's not an epigenetic test. It's based on actual clinical chemistry biomarkers. On the x-axis, we've got average daily mushroom intake. So for those who don't know, I've weighed all of my food or almost all of my food since 2015. I then take that data, enter it into the diet tracking app chronometer, and then take those data and put it into a spreadsheet. So each blood test has a corresponding average dietary intake for both macros, micros, and foods, and more specifically for mushrooms. In terms of the correlation, we can see that there. It's a significant inverse correlation with a correlation coefficient, lowercase r, of minus 0.36. And we can see that the p-value is less than 0.05, so this is a significant correlation. So there we can see that a higher mushroom intake is significantly correlated with a younger biological age. And in terms of the intakes that are maybe best, if this is causation, we don't know, this is just the correlation, it's at least around 140 grams to around 300 grams in my data. Now, would this happen for others eating that, mu that many mushrooms? I don't know, but this is what my data currently shows. But note that my body weight is about 20 pounds lower, intentionally 20 pounds lower as the goal was to get leaner to see what that would do to biomarkers since 2018, which then raises the question, are mushrooms significantly uh, associated? Because after we adjust the correlation, now it becomes an association. Are mushrooms significantly associated with biological age after adjusting for body weight? And that's what we'll see here. This is a linear regression model that includes both mushrooms and body weight and their combined association with biological age. So after including body weight in the model, we can see that mushroom intake is still significantly inversely uh, associated with a younger biological age. So note that a couple things though. One, again, I can't say if this is causation. These are correlations and associations. To test causation, I'd have to take mushrooms out. And at this point in the journey, I have no interest in doing that when considering these data and when considering that mushrooms are a great source of spermidine and ergothionine and many other uh, nutrients, polysaccharides. So there are no plans to take it out of the approach to try to test causation. The hypothesis would be if I took it out and biological age got worse, that would add evidence that this may be causation and not necessarily correlations and associations. But also, as I mentioned, whether this is true for others, I can't say. So to address that, I'd encourage regular diet tracking in conjunction with blood testing, and then we can see if this may be true for you and others. If you've ever wondered what's optimal for biomarkers, well, I have a new Patreon tier dedicated just to that. It currently includes 33, the 33 biomarkers shown here, and this isn't the reference ranges. Anybody can get that from an LLM these days. It's what may be optimal based on how each of these biomarkers changes during aging, and or their association with all-cause mortality risk. It currently includes more than two hours of video content from 48 published references, and all of the references are linked under that video. So if you're interested in that, check it out. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon, where I, offer, where I show biomarker correlations, not just for DAGs with niacin and diet, but then Correlations for everything with all other biomarkers, stuff on the clinical chemistries, uh, stuff from epigenetics. I post correlations, resting heart rate, heart rate variability. So correlations for lots of stuff are posted there. I've also got four other tiers, which I post regularly. So if you're interested in that, check it out. We've also got discount and affiliate links that you can use to test yourself that help support the channel. And note that any of these discount and affiliate links that are here, I'm either currently using or have recently used. I would never have something on the channel that I'm not actively using or have recently used that I believe in or that I don't believe in. And those include ultalabtest.com, which is where I get the majority of my blood tests performed, the clearly filtered water filter, which I'm using every day, at-home metabolomics covered in the video, or microbiome composition, and I just sent the sample for analysis, so we'll see how that plays out. NAD testing with Ginfinity, epigenetic testing, at-home blood testing with Cyfox Health, which includes that epigenetic test Grimage, green tea, which I drink every day, diet tracking with chronometer, also using that every day, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, buy me a coffee. We've also got merch, new merch, including the figuring stuff out as my drug, which I've got on here, and we've got the channel theme. So if you're interested in these designs, there's a link in the video's description. 
Thanks for watching. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.